Welcome to Cooking with Dr. Trindade. I was inspired to do this by several of my patients, uh, one of which is a physician who had never cooked before, as happens with some of my other patients, and said, could you just do some very basic videos for those of us who haven't cooked, but we're sort of inspired to after talking to you and trying to implement that 10 to 12 servings of vegetables and fruit per day. And your theory about how if you can get that, those amount of vegetables, you're in much sort of healthier stead, not just in COVID-19 times, but in general. Um, and then the next question was, well, how do I get all those in? And I'm constantly reminding them how you can make soups that are cream soups, but they're cream of vegetables. You're not adding any cream, dairy cream that is. And uh, so then the next thing was, well, if I could just have a short video and make it simple, just keep it really simple. So that really inspired me to do this and to keep it simple. Now, whenever you are cooking yourself, whether you're making soups or anything else, please just be creative. You can add a lot more things and um, you can experiment with different flavors. But for now, I'm keeping it really basic because I want to inspire those of you who think you can't cook to cook because you really can. So welcome and let's get on with cooking. Welcome to Cooking with Dr. Trindade. Today, we're not exactly cooking, we're more mixing. So I'm going to show you my smoothie recipe. It's really simple. And it depends how many people you're doing this for. I'm doing this for three people. And how about half of an avocado? And so I'm putting it in a big uh, four cup measuring um, cup because it, I just li don't like it splattering. So you just put in that half avocado. You could do more. Now I have this one rule of thumb for my smoothies and that is that I have to sneak in a green leafy vegetable in addition to the avocado. You could have instead of the avocado or in addition to it also done a non-dairy yogurt which I often do like there's one from almond milk or coconut milk and then about a cup of raspberries. Now raspberries are really amazing because they're rich in elagic acid which is great for detoxing. It's also very powerful antioxidant but I have some that are just from the refrigerator and then some that I froze and I froze them in this uh, parchment paper. You could also use wax paper if you didn't have it. But the reason why I like to use parchment paper is because it's not toxic and then you're not using the plastic. So you're not freezing in the plastic. So I'm just going to finish doing a cup with some of it frozen, some of it not. And then I'm doing the same thing with the blueberries. We're doing about a cup of blueberries. You can make this bigger or smaller. Uh, or I should say larger quantities or smaller quantities and I'm also doing some frozen. So again, these blue, some of the blueberries were frozen. You could do half and half. It's all up to you as to how cold you want it. So we have that and, and then my little secret ingredient which is a handful of a green leafy vegetable. I'm doing spinach today but it could have also been um, arugula. It's whatever you have but the leafy green vegetables makes it a little bit easier. And then you could use ice or water. I'm going to do water and I'm going to do about a cup of water. You could do, it depends on how thick you like it. And then my second secret ingredient is either uh, clove or vanilla. Here I'm doing a little bit of both. You could do nutmeg because spices are great. They're anti-inflammatory. They help our cells communicate with each other a little bit better. So about a half a teaspoon of vanilla just gives it a real earthy kind of flavor. And I'm using just a couple drops of orange essential oil. You could do also a spice like nutmeg or a uh, cinnamon. It's really up to you. And now we're going to whip it up. You can also do it in a Vitamix or any type of a blender that you might have. I love my hand blender, so I use it a lot. You could also add some ginger 
Uh, it's really up to you. The sky's sort of the limit. And I get easily bored, so I like adding different flavors each time I make it. And then it all depends on you, just how smooth you'd like it. The avocado really makes it very creamy. So this is just loaded with antioxidants and remember that blueberries are very very high in antioxidants and um, because of their purple color it's, it's very unique because it's not only anti-inflammatory and has a higher RAC value but it also in the purple spectrum we have a lot of antioxidants that are great for our eyes that are uh, Good for keeping the viruses at bay, for supporting and reinforcing your immune system. So this is what the final product will look like. And see how smooth it is. Now you can make your own homemade yogurt and you can actually find some recipes on my website. You could do or you could substitute the avocado for the homemade yogurt or add it in addition. My whole thing about adding the avocado is that it's so rich in glutathione and we're trying to get glutathione up because we now have studies showing that glutathione actually helps you recover from COVID. It can be used sort of as a treatment, but I want to also do it more as a preventative measure. So here it is. Enjoy. Nice, rich, smooth, and full of antioxidants. Now I have, if you've noticed, I've added no sugar or no sweetener. If you have a little bit of a sweet tooth and you'd like a little, a, it to be a little sweeter, you could add stevia, a couple drops of stevia. You can do a few drops of honey. You can use monk fruit. As far as we know, it may not be problematic for our gut and for the gut microbiota or uh, for stimulating insulin release. So for now, in small amounts, I'm allowing it until further notice. Enjoy.